If you're new to Bitcoin, you might not be familiar with Bitcoin addresses. They're a crucial part of using Bitcoin, and if you plan to take self-custody, understanding them is important for protecting your privacy and security. Don't worry, we're here to help explain everything you need to know. In this video, we'll guide you through what Bitcoin addresses are and how they work so you can send and receive Bitcoin with confidence. Let's get started. First of all, what is a Bitcoin address? A Bitcoin address is a long string of letters and numbers used for receiving Bitcoin to your wallet. You can think of it somewhat like an email address. Anyone with one of your Bitcoin addresses can send you Bitcoin, just like anyone who has one of your email addresses can send you an email. As you can see from the examples shown, all Bitcoin addresses begin with a prefix of 1, 3, or BC1. You may notice that some of these addresses are longer and don't include any capital letters. This is because they are using a newer address format called BEC32. Don't overthink it though, these addresses are used in the same way, so you don't need to treat BC1 addresses any differently. Addresses can also be expressed as QR codes. This helps people easily share addresses with others. For example, certain apps might use your phone's camera to scan a QR code from another person's phone, a computer screen, or even printed paper. So why are Bitcoin addresses important? Addresses are used for all typical transactions on the main Bitcoin network. If you want to send Bitcoin to someone else, they must provide you with an address. If someone wants to send Bitcoin to you, you'll need to give them an address of your own. Beyond the simple mechanics of how they work, however, understanding addresses is important because following best practices will help you transact safely and privately. Here are a couple of tips to keep in mind. Always use a new address. First, it is wise to use a new address each time you receive Bitcoin into your wallet. Unlike an email, your Bitcoin wallet doesn't just have one reusable address. It can generate many different addresses that all point to the same wallet. In fact, you can generate thousands of addresses, more than you will ever need. You want to always use a new address in order to protect your privacy. The Bitcoin balance on each address is public and easily searchable, so if someone learns that an address belongs to you, they can track the balance on that address going forward using the blockchain. Ensure the address is correct. Another tip is that it's important to ensure the address you're using is correct. As shown earlier, Bitcoin addresses look like a series of random numbers and letters, and each character is essential. Funds sent to a different address by mistake will be unrecoverable. For this reason, you should always use QR codes or a copy and paste procedure when transferring addresses from one place to another. Using a hardware wallet to verify an address and conducting a small test transaction can provide additional confidence when confirming address accuracy. Luckily, addresses include a checksum to help avoid typos. Essentially, if an address character is altered, it will almost certainly no longer be recognized as a valid address. Because of this safety mechanism, when copying an address from one place to another, a common shortcut is to look over the first six characters and the last six characters rather than the entire address. This can provide a very high degree of confidence that there are no typos. How are Bitcoin addresses created? Now that you understand the basics of what Bitcoin addresses are and why they're important, you might be wondering how they're made. When a new wallet is created, all of the addresses to that wallet can be immediately determined even if the wallet was constructed completely offline. If you wanted to build an address from scratch, the first step would be randomly generating a seed, which can be backed up in human-readable form as a seed phrase or expressed as a master private key. This is the secret that you need to know in order to spend Bitcoin from any of your addresses, and the safest way to generate it is entirely offline using a hardware wallet. Your master private key can be used to create extended public keys, also known as XPUBs. XPUBs are the main ingredient for creating wallets, and since you can create multiple XPUBs from one master private key, you can use it to build many separate wallets. Once you have an XPUB, you can use it to generate as many regular public keys as you would like. Each individual public key can then be used to create a unique address. If you grab a public key from just one XPUB, then your address will belong to a single SIG wallet. If you instead create an address by combining multiple public keys from several XPUBs and several private keys, 
then your address will belong to a multi-sig wallet. And there you have it. We hope this video has helped you understand what Bitcoin addresses are and why they're important. While taking self-custody and understanding addresses is just the beginning of your Bitcoin privacy and security journey, we hope the information in this video can help you feel more confident about using your own wallet to send and receive Bitcoin. If you have any questions about Bitcoin addresses that we didn't cover, let us know in the comment section below. And if this guide was helpful, please share it around and like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.